Can you make a black bean burger that tastes more like a burger instead of mushy beans? Can I? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rosa and on this channel we make plant-based food for you and your family to enjoy. So today we're going to be making my version of black bean burgers. You know, I hear a lot of people out there complaining about uh, black bean burgers because pretty much they're kind of basic. They have the black beans and kind of mushed together, maybe with a little bit of breadcrumbs and some seasoning. And that was my thing too when I first started being a vegan. Um, I would just get a burger, even at a restaurant, and they would like, say, oh, I have you know vegetarian or vegan options, and it'll just be a mushed burger all beans okay so today we're going to make something that's smoky and flavorful and it has that meaty feel kind of like a burger but made with black beans and other ingredients so let me show you guys how i put that together one of the secrets i like to use to make the burger taste more meatier when it's beans is actually dry your bean out and put it in the oven okay so right here i have uh, two 15 ounce cans of black beans rinsed really well we're going to bake those beans at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius and just kind of keep an eye on them. We're gonna, I generally kind of bake them for like 10, 15 minutes, maybe a little longer, but you want to see them dry it out and kind of popping. Okay, guys? So while the beans are drying out, we're going to cut up our onions, our mushrooms, and our garlic, and we're going to get those all sauteed up. So first, we're going to chop up our onion. Let's get the outside peeled off. Just gonna cut it up into small dices because we're going to actually saute it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Even though they're small pieces, I'm gonna run my knife through it a little bit more to get them a little smaller. And they're gonna shrink down anyway because the mushroom gets really small anyway after we saute it. And definitely use the stem because it all counts. And this, the stem will give it more of a meatier texture as well. So I have the pan on medium to high heat. And I'm going to add to it two tablespoons of neutral oil, and I like to use grapeseed oil. I'm gonna saute up our onions first. So we're gonna add our garlic and saute that for about 30 seconds. Now we're gonna add our mushrooms and cook them until they get a little bit brown. Or translucent until they get translucent and cooked through. I'm gonna add like a big pinch of salt to it, so about a fourth teaspoon of salt, just so the moisture can start coming out of those mushrooms. Okay, our veggies are cooked, our beans are dried out, so now we're going to make a flax egg so we can use it as one of the binders, okay? So for that, you'll use one tablespoon of flax, that's ground flax seeds, and we're gonna mix in three tablespoons of water. And we're just gonna set that aside. To a food processor, we're gonna add three fourths cups of roasted or raw cashews. I have raw on hand, so that's what I'm using. We're just gonna give those a cup of pulse and kind of like break it down to small bits. Good check it. Okay, a little bit more. About like that. You don't want to blend it too much 
because you don't want to end up at, uh, making it into like a nut butter, okay? Or getting too sticky, okay? So we're gonna take it and pour it into a large bowl. Now we're gonna add our dry beans to the food processor. And we're just gonna give those a couple pulses as well. But we don't wanna make it mushy, just a few pulses. Like this. Okay, now we're gonna add the black beans to the bowl with the cashews. Give that a little stir. And we're gonna add those veggies that we sauteed. So we're gonna add a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, or you can use gluten-free breadcrumbs of your choice. We're gonna add that flax egg. Give that a little bit of a stir. For another binder, we're gonna add two tablespoons of vegan mayo. That's gonna give it a little bit of a fattiness as well. Hey guys, ever wonder how to make plant-based eating effortless? Well, my 30-day plant-based meal plan is the answer for you. With over 39 plant-based recipes, it takes the guesswork out of meal time, saving you time and ensuring that you enjoy nourishing meals every day. So let's simplify healthy eating together. And this is optional, but I chopped up a chipotle in adobe with a little bit of the sauce. That gives it a little bit of a spice and smokiness. I definitely need a bigger spoon. I'll be right back. All right, this is more like it. We're going to add a teaspoon of liquid smoke. And that liquid smoke is gonna give it that, you know, that grilled smoky flavor. So I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt because it tastes like it needs some salt, but you salt the taste. That's good. Okay, so to the mixture, we're gonna add some feta cheese. I like to use this brand um, of their feta cheese, but you can use any brand you like. We're gonna do about maybe a fourth cup to a half cup. Let me see how much I have left here. I usually like to just do to taste, but you can say about a fourth cup and you just cut them into some cubes or small pieces. Cause they're gonna melt inside the burger, which makes it taste so good. And it gives it that salty, you know, melt, soft, salty, melty texture. That's the thing. <laughs> but it does give you a nice little salty bite inside and creaminess. We're gonna mix it all in together. Just a, like a light, gentle fold. And for this, you could use cheddar cheese if you want. Any type of cheese that's melty. So you can get that nice melty uh, burst of cheese inside your burger when you eat it. Just wanna make sure that you get some cheese in every bite. So what we're gonna do, I like to take a half a cup measure and just scoop some out and press it in to get one nice burger. And then you can form it easily. All right guys, so I got the stove on medium high heat. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. You don't necessarily have to if you have a really good non-stick pan or a cast iron skillet that's really good and non-stick. But I'm just gonna do it to be on the safe side. The pan is hot. And you're gonna gently place your burgers in the pan. 
be careful that way they don't fall apart I'm gonna put about three in there Well, it gives me some room to flip them. So we're gonna cook the burgers on each side for about five to six minutes, and then we'll plate it up. Mm. Nice and crispy. All right, guys, so the burgers are all done, and um, we're just gonna test them and see how they came out. Right? Cool. Okay, yep. and I have this guy over here next to me. He random stranger off the street came and sat next to me. I don't know. Anyway, this is my husband, Jimmy, so we wanna try the burger together. All right, I'm gonna cut mine in half because I wanna see what it looks like in half. Yeah. Go ahead, you can go I'll ahead. I'll cut mine in half, too. No, 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 don't it's cut It's easier to clean cut. Clean cut, good eat. There you go, babe. All right, so that's what it looks like inside. You guys can see that. All right. Okay. Looks really yummy. Ooh. Looks really good. Okay. Excelente. Excelente. So, what do you think? As always, I took too big of a bite. What do you think? It's the question. And apart from all the toppings, is where you need to taste the burger. Because the last one you get the bread, the toppings, and then the burger gets lost. Um, well, I'm tasting the, the burger. Okay. And what do you think about the burger? It's still soft. It's still soft a little bit? Yeah. Like, um, and maybe because we've actually had some interruptions here, so. <laughs> right? And it's been sitting minute. But it's not super soft like a, like a, um, see look. This is what it's like. So, it's like a, a burger pull apart. It's really good though. Yeah, it's like a pull apart burger. still not like mushy at mm -hmm. all. This is what one will look like inside. You guys can see that? I just want to show it though, see, and that's the, and the cheese, all uh, the layers of cheese here in between there makes mm. it taste good too, but you don't have to put the cheese inside, you can put it on top. This is just how I like to do mine. Why don't you eat a piece of that one? It's like a meaty burger, see? Mm -hmm. You pull it apart, so it's not mushy, huh? It's good. It's really good. The flavor is really excellent. Mm -hmm. So, I like, I, think, I like the flavor and I'm hungry. You know. <laughs> You've been waiting all day to eat the burger. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I know how many onions are in here, and I don't like onions at all, but I still love this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. So, what would you give this one, a one out of five? Well, well, let's do one out of ten. What would you give this burger as a black bean burger? Well, you know what? That's interesting you said that. Because <laughs> I wasn't thinking about black bean burger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot we were filming a black bean burger? I forgot it was black beans. Okay. Um, that's good then, I guess. Yeah. That's really good because if I, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so I would say it's probably a nine and a half. Oh. Only the, the half is probably because um, for like just a regular burger, it doesn't like hold like meat, regular meat does. Yeah. But, um, I really didn't think about it as a black bean burger. I just thought it was a, just a flavor burger. Okay. Well, you heard it from him. I think it's delicious too, and it has that fattiness because we put that little bit of all vegan mayo in there. Mm -hmm. And um, it kind of gave it that little more richness. Mm. And then the mushrooms and how we cook down the veggies and stuff, which helps, okay? Because if you put it in with the veggies that's uh, raw, mm -hmm. it won't really hold up as well, I don't think. And it won't give it that delicious flavor. And for this burger too, you can add more of the chipotle with adobe. I just did it mildly today for the video, but I usually put a little more to give it a little more kick. Yeah. Right? But this is a delicious burger, guys. I, I absolutely know you'll love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the cashews also give it that little bite and that um, texture in there. You, oh, okay. you, I was cashews in there, didn't you? Well, yeah, but I mean, you're not going to taste cashews necessarily. No. Mm -mm, you won't take You're just going to taste... Well, either way, it's just a, it doesn't taste like a regular bean burger. Bean burgers are so... Ugh. So beany? They just, I don't know. They yeah. don't really have anything going. This has a lot of flavor profile going. What's really good for me is I don't have like a sense of so much 
crunchy uh, onions. Right. That texture that makes me go er, like yeah. eating styrofoam. And then I guess the cheese really helps a lot too yeah. because Definitely. maybe that's adding, yeah. It just get all those combinations together, I figured. Really gave it that, uh, just that taste that you want for a very flavorful burger, you know, and, and definitely season it the way you want. You know, mm -hmm. add a little more salt or, or pepper, however you want to add to it. This is a totally flexible uh, recipe, so you can just throw extra seasonings and things like that in it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to close out this video. And if you like videos like this, well, if you like this video, first of all, give it a thumbs up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and comment below if you plan on making this burger. And if you make it, let me know how it came out for you, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. And I think that is it for today. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we're gonna head out and we will, I will see you on the next video and maybe him too. All right, guys, bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> it's really good, huh?